How many of you do use processes related to graphic design and to graphic production? Web development and video production. I see that many people in the room work in the three fields, so I'd like to tell you that the new licensing system for Adobe have cha has changed. Does anybody work with Creative Cloud right now? Creative Cloud, no. Creative Cloud is what I'm grading. Adobe has also adopted the technology of be able to have cloud service, which is much more dynamic and direct for the users. It's a much more customized service. The great advantage is, is that we will find all the creative suite. In the past, we only had 18 programs in the master collection, a six, but then this is now being reinforced with new edge and tools. And these tools will help us complete these digital design processes or designs for mobile, or HTML5 codes, or we'll also operate with CS3 code. So we are focusing largely in this field when we talk about digital. We are still very strong and solid in the traditional program, Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design. Design has a new application called Digital Publisher Suite, which directly in design under a product or a development design is focusing on printed product, but we can also make a digital presentation. Do you know Semana magazine for iPad? Well, this is designed in e-design and it's all developed in design. We don't require a code integration or anything at all. The tool, a digital publishing suite, managing the same tool we're using in design can encapsulate and transform this into native language in the two platforms, iOS or Android, if we do need this. So in summary, I will present the different changes and the advantages. If you have any question or any concern, please feel free to interrupt me and I will reply with pleasure. So let us begin. Our first category. For those of you who are interested and work largely on audio and video, Premiere Pro is highly reinforced because it is integrated with a new plugin to use Cinema 4D. There's already an interaction between the two, so we can work in Cinema 4D, involve them in our editing process in Premiere Pro. We have the After Effects, which has also been reinforced, especially when we manage processes frequently rasterizing time of many of our projects is quite long. So weight has been optimized and the processes are much faster. To emphasize, we have cooler. Does anybody know what cooler is? Or has anybody implemented cooler? Okay, cooler, as we will see in the web, cooler is a new product adopted by Adobe where we will find ways of using supplementary colors. All the Adobe tools use color files in .ace and basically .ace delivers this color chart and can calculate the colors and can relate to our libraries in a very easy way. So then I can download it, I equalize it, and I manage it. It's very useful for graphic, digital, or videos. Let's look at the other new features in audio and video. Prelude will help us transform the methods and registers in production. This also includes standards to be able to optimize color, to manage color photography, to level colors frequently. We have video shots. We have been shooting video where maybe it's too light or too dark. So this can help us find a perfect balance of the colors. It is also related to a new product which will be available in all the front, which is called Behance. Do you know Behance? Have you heard about it? Have you seen it? I invite you to use Behance. Behance is a new tool that was always also purchased by Adobe and is related to all the creative processes throughout the world. And we will find very good projects, very good portfolios. And this is focusing in the world of publicity and this publicity portfolio as a presentation 
scheme because this is where I will build my work portfolio and this is based on products related to Adobe okay so I would like to invite you let's see if I can upload this I'm using the internet on, from my mobile device so here by person by user or by team it is possible to generate a product portfolio I invite you to check it out it's a very good product and we can identify this either we can log in through Facebook or if we belong to Creative Cloud the new Adobe licensing process we can follow this login to access it directly for graphic design our we have our traditional tools with improvements for example, Photoshop in this new version, its improvement or its enhancement or the most important plugin is that it is possible to recover these pictures or photographs that are out of focus. So it has a new focusing filter which can help us use this photograph that we have discarded because it is a little blurry and it calculates the bitmaps and it can interpret the photograph in a very knitted manner. So many of the pictures that we have lost because they're out of focus can then be recovered with this product. Also we are working hardly in processes and in design. It is focused on the fact that it's not just a product to do printed material or editing or publishing material for many pages but we can also do design apps or publications in digital books by using this tool. I will show you publications. The publishing suite in the cloud licensing will find a version where we can have an, a unique or single edition but Adobe also sells PPS licenses professional enterprises according to the customers needs the success case right now in Colombia is the magazine called Semana and the ICCK group with the Cromos magazine is going to be implementing this as well as El Espectador and the Gamma group which is managing the diners and access magazines. So these are implementations which are helping greatly for these traditional companies that use printed processes, start gearing and migrating to digital process in a very good manner with excellent results. Consequently, basically the process or subscription to printed is the same as digital because now people don't want to keep paper, they don't want to use paper or store paper just in their iPad or their mobile device and they want to have these uh, issues in a very quick manner. Let's go back to graphic. To highlight, we also have ideas. Ideas is for smartphones and for tablets also. It does vectorial work which is quite similar to Illustrator and uh, some very well known tools which are the paint brushes and the pencils have the different tones to, for technical reasons I cannot show it to you but I invite those of you who have iPad because this is free for iPad for you to download ideas of uh, or ideas of Adobe to start working with nodes and vectors because those people who are members of the cloud this is connected to the storing in the cloud I omitted to tell you that each license, in addition to the fact that all our products and all our tools are available in the cloud, each license also has 100 giga storage for equipment. So this means that we have space to store backups or we can do work, rela related work, but in the cloud, as I will show you here, the files that I have filed or stored. we can do collaborative work among teams because basically what I have stored on the cloud I can share it and send it to the clients and then I can generate I'm just going to log in and I can generate work or activities frequently without having to have a printout to take to the client so I'll run the demo for you I can be able to do my collaborative work with the people the people who are related to the project and I can open a forum or a discussion center directly related to each of the different parts that are stored in the cloud. So let me upload this just a moment. These are some of the files I have stored in the cloud. So I will show you what it looks like when we're uploading all these files that I can store or save. 
let's go back to this file, let's go back into ideas or ideas. All these files are related to ideas or vectorial work which can also can be read by Illustrator and the best part of all this is that if I open one of these files the sharing module I can relate this or link it and then send it to the people who are linked or connected to this file and this is what I can generate as collaborative work under a file which is stored in my cloud I can send this to anybody who is related to the project and then in this panel it is possible to generate a discussion center for approval or correction of our artwork so frequently these artworks that have been scratched out because I want to correct style or text I can do this directly up here and immediately I will be notified thereof now let's go back to our new features of Adobe We're talking about graphs. TypeKid was also purchased by Adobe. I think that many of you know TypeKid. This is a source with 5,000 fonts which are available to be able to customize and to provide a bit more design to our digital projects. Managing CSS3, we can interpret so fonts in the body of our development either in the website or digital and we are not just restrained or limited by what the operation systems forced we have to use it our um, Tahoma Etica because these are the safe fonts which are available with the different operation systems those were our restrictions we need to work on them to be able to interpret in the other tools so this is a tool that is linked to our new licensing system Let's focus on photography. Focus on photography. Photoshop, as we know, is the leader in photography. Lightroom to be able to manipulate uh, raw forms in a much more efficient manner, which are available in cameras with a very good form. So Lightroom will help us capture these images and do some previous work before touching them up. And then we also have Photoshop Touch. There is a version of Photoshop for iPad where we can have some basic tools and so we'll generate a PSDX file which is the same EPS file generated by Photoshop and I can start projects in this mobile application where Photoshop can also combine them so the two types of files are interrelated and it's a very good mobile tool games people think that flash is dying due to the way that the web content is being managed with H2M5 but flash is focusing greatly on games on animation flash bit like sort of get lends a hand and all these processes work better flash is not dying flash is focusing it has other challenges and other goals and is much more focused on presentation and video games and more related to portfolio and what is going to be replacing this to be able to generate HTM5 is called Edge Animate, which is one of the new things. It works quite similar to Photoshop, where they have the same mobile interpolations and the object lines to give each object its animation. But it does this HML5 project. Flash used to do it, but it doesn't do it as efficiently as Edge Element because the code is much simpler, it's much more efficient, and it's much lighter so that the uploading processes on the web are much faster. SCO also lends a hand when we talk about Flash games and web processes. This is just managing the front of the games to optimize these for mobile development we see repetition of some of our apps for example Dreamweaver which is very classic ever since it belonged to Macromedia but this already has some additional plugins and some helps where I can adapt or I can work on one same project and it lends me a hand in adapting to responsive either for tablets or for smartphones so Every River as well as Muse, which is a new design tool, Muse is focused more towards the people who know a lot about graphs, but they find difficulties with codes to generate very good designs and also to generate quick designs 
by using a managing the front. In other words, I don't deal with the code. I don't work with the design in the back. I just manage the front and use optimizes code development. If I need a bit more code and I need to be a bit more specific regarding development, then I can resort to Dream Grower, which is well known. And S code. So here I have a panel which is much more advanced for those of you who like to work with codes where the projects are much more specific and they double check with databases or matches with double batches so we work much more with the codes. So this is another new feature scope to manage this type of issues. Now let's talk about mobiles again. Reflow also lends me a hand in response for the pages based on this I can work and feel very confident that if I do my web project in a traditional way at 1080, 1200 pixels it helps me in responsive so I will not have to work so much with the codes I won't have to work so much in development processes but Reflow also helps me with this process to adapt this main page to a responsive page okay for publications I continue insisting on digital publishing suite this will help us for these traditional people in the graphics world who have not learned too much about web development so that they can then interpret the publications of their clients in the digital the tool and the new licensing system in addition to bringing new features and to maybe refresh part of its products is giving in some warnings. When we talk about versions or releases 4.5, 5, 5 is going to become standardized. Everything will be operated under one version called CC. So in the future, probably in about two years' time, people who have permanent licensing will be lagging behind a little bit because the community and the media and everything related to Adobe products will be related under CC version. Therefore, this does not mean that they will not work. It does not mean that they will not be useful, but they won't be competitive or they will not be under the same competitive line for those people who have Creative Cloud. License also provides training centers. I will be able to have each of our licenses with some training centers and let me just see if I can upload it here where Adobe will always be generating videos and tutorials which will show me the new features and will give me some tips on how to manage or operate or use this tool correctly and license will also see is halfsadobe.com and the remaining information of this code where we will see broken down by categories different topics related to video, photography or what is related to your different fields that you're working in so that you can also receive training through the Adobe website. The tool will provide some technical support so we hear and we've seen that many people have had difficulties with installation or maybe the sales channel was not fully trained to provide a support. We talk about difficulties with the program or the installations so the tool has a help division or area. This is provided by specialists in Adobe and we'll have forum and we'll have two calls for 30 minutes throughout the year to present your quests or assistance to be able to address any issues related to Adobe. The changes in themselves, the general changes basically are that will be standardizing version releases issues like I've told you the renovation renewal and subscription is the new licensing model full licensing, permanent licensing exists but everything will be migrated to the cloud so my invitation is that we learn about the cloud we understand the strengths that we don't need to go back to suffer these abrupt radical changes that we were enduring with other releases if I have version 5 and I wanted to migrate to version 6 I had to pay updating costs but directly with our membership and with our licensing in the cloud every time Adobe, every time the people 
in Adobe generate a new app or a new version or release or a new improvement or enhancement and one of the programs they will be available directly in a membership so we will not have to pay more updating costs or enhancing costs everything will be available in the cloud and the cost compared to other cases is also highly reduced so if we calculate perpetual licensing at about 3,400 US dollars, we had a life shell for life cycle of about 18 months to a cloud licensing which is renewed every year with an approximate cost depending on the channel that's been authorized in Columbia for 1,200 US dollars, we will see that the licensing change and the cost has dropped greatly and this is another positive aspect for you. So I would now invite you to to use the new tools in Creative Cloud, to look into them, to check them out, and to understand the benefits compared to the formal licensing processes. There are many benefits involved, and that would be our invitation for today. I think that you have received, we're circulating some forms in the room, and the idea is to collect your data, and then with these forms, would you kindly fill them out if you have any question? And I will have a raffle for one license for one person for those people who have joined us today we have three minutes okay I've got three minutes left so in three minutes time will you please fill out the forms if you have any question very quickly we can answer it and then the person who will win this will receive a license for one year for one person the only difference compared to the licensing for the teams is that it won't have 100 giga storage but 20 giga storage in the cloud that is a prize you will be receiving. In creative.adobe.com, you saw that I needed to use my user and ID. You have to use the same if you're going to purchase a plug or anything in an app store. You just follow the same mechanism. Like in many processes or in the Dropbox, or you have to have a ID and your password. So basically it's uh, your email address and then your password will be customized. That is a theory that everybody believes that everything is executed and run in the cloud. Well, no. What we actually receive is application manager. And the tools work locally. What we'll find in the cloud are the execution files. Execution files for each program. So, for example, in this first description, I have all the ones which are installed and updated, but I have a second category of programs which I have not installed yet. I just click install. It runs the downloading process of the programs, and it does the installation automatically. It will also inform me if there are any updates. Like in Premiere CC, there's an update here, and I can update it very quickly. you download them and they place them locally so you can be disconnected and work normally but you do require the connection to store in the cloud and to synchronize the files that are in the cloud but the programs work local and you can work without an internet connection I'll answer your first question the files as you see are stored in my files but also there's a synchronization process with a local file this is my local file so if I am not connected and I'm working on my local file, once the system in understands that I have a connection to the internet, it carries out the synchronization immediately. It works quite similar to how Dropbox, Dropbox works. The licensing process for cloud, depending on the channel, you will find the information on the website and on the flyers varies between $1,000 and $1,200. It depends on how you are negotiating amongst the different channels. Okay, so 
thank you very much for listening. We have already received the forms. I will maybe take, I will have this raffle in front of everybody. And then you can give the name of the winner. So thank you very much.